not keep your feet loose. Come on now. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Missed the body shot. Good job. We come to the end of the round. Joe and Teddy with your ringside. Teddy, the punch stats prove it, but obviously, listen, if you're going to work more than the other guy, you're going to win the round. Yes, you are. Usually, as long as those punches have eyes, as long as they're getting into scoring areas, clean shots. No doubt about it. You are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Look at me. Knock this motherfucker out. Five has arrived. <laughs> Frazier's combination punching is working well here. Come on, stay away from those. Come on, man. <laughs> Great movement to get away from those punches. What an excellent two-punch combo by Joe Frazier. Nice combination, throwing more than one, both scored there. Able to cover up that gut. Target, he lands the straight right. No head movement, and he's getting tagged. Frazier's doing well here with that two punch combination. One, two, one, two, that's it. Get inside, get inside. Good Reaching job. the halfway mark of this round. Keep working, buddy. Comes right back at him with a left hand. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. See, not just one jab, he throws that second one right behind it. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. In and out. Frazier's in well and out. off the mark that time. Face yourself. Right. <laughs> Took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Good defense, just covering up down low. Comes right back at him with a left hand. So they close out that round. Joe and Teddy with your ringside. Teddy, I know you watch uh, very closely how these trainers go about their business. You were under the tutelage of one of the true legends of the game, the great Customato. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate. Quite honestly, those opportunities, situations, probably don't exist anymore because we've lost a lot of those, you know, really great trainers and managers that boxing was their whole life. I spent seven years with Customato, and I learned the nuts and bolts from a physical, technical point of view of what's important to give to a fighter, but the psychological part. To understand the pressures that a fighter is under, the fears that a fighter deals with. And if you don't understand that, all the other things don't mean anything. Because you have to understand how a fighter is feeling to understand why he's behaving or not behaving a certain way.
Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on... Did you see that? Teddy, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Two, where he shouldn't be, three. and he paid a price. Hurry, hurry, get up, get up. Oh, you can tell he's really affected. Now, he's risen on. He's going to go on here, but you can tell he's been damaged. Yeah, but the most important thing now is to get in close and smother his opponent so no more damage can be taken. Keep moving, go, keep go. moving. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. There he is, landing a combo. Get close to him. Close the distance. Huh? Work. Great technique. The combo lands. Come on, baby. Watch that punch. A little one-two. Jab, followed by the cross. <laughs> Frazier swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Side, side, move your head. Side, side, come on now. End of the round is upon us, and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching to those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. Joe Frazier's got a good relationship with his corner, but now it needs to pay off. He was down in that last round. They need to get to work. Protecting his head well with his guard. What an uppercut by Joe Frazier. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on, now. Frazier's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Come on, punch, 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 that's it. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. He fires off the combination there and it lands. Right back to the work up top. 